Okay, Brenton, so for the first part of the health appraisal, we're just going to do a little uh, fine history sort of testing. So all I'm going to do is ask you a few basic questions just about you know, your age, health, little things like that, um, test them to, to the best of your ability. Um, and if I see anything that pops up and alert us to, you know, our liberty, any things you need to do, then I'll uh, make sure to jot it down. Um, just to start with, uh, how old are you? I'm 23. 23. Uh, do you have any medical conditions? Did you have any family medical history? No. No. Uh, do you have any current injuries? No, no. No, no. Perfect. Sounding good. Uh, what would you say your physical activity status is? So, like, how many times a week would you? Um, I normally try to go to gym about four, four times a week. Yeah, around that. Normally for about an hour. Around an hour. Perfect. Any other physical activities you do? Uh, I do play sort of recreational netball, so I do that yeah. once a week. How long does that go for? Uh, normally about 40 minutes, I think games go for. And that's at a pretty high intensity? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, are you a smoker? I don't know. Excellent. Um, and in terms of sleep, how do you say you're sleeping? Uh, um, oh, a bit up and down there in the unit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> probably, I'd probably say on average seven hours. Seven hours average. Uh, and just in terms of your diet, how would you say your, your eating habits are? How many meals do you have a day? Normally three, three meals a day. Yeah. Um, a couple of snacks in there, obviously. Yeah. And would you say those meals are sort of like nutritional meals, like healthy meals for yeah, you? Or do you yeah, tend to definitely normally I try and have some, uh, some veg and some meat. Yep. Yeah. The healthy stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, and would you say um, those meals sort of um, allow you to do your activity? Uh, to, a, to a good ability, you don't feel tired at all. Or no, 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 I feel it's adequate. Yeah, it's, it's adequate. Yeah, excellent. Well, uh, that all sounds good, and uh, that's the fine thing to be done. Okay, so the next part of the health uh, appraisal will be to take your uh, weight to the height. Um, so we'll just start off with weight. If you could just remove your shoes, anything extra weight you've got in your pockets. Uh, now just get your stand to the front of the, the machine. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll just quickly turn it on and zero it. So now I'm just getting to stand on the machine, feet in from this front apart, directly forwards. And hold that, hold that. Yeah, so now you can step off. So that's your uh, weight done. Uh, what we'll do now, we'll move on to height. So I'm just getting to stand with your heels, uh, buttocks, uh, hips, shoulders, and head just up against the uh, stadiometer. Yeah. And now with your head, we just want the uh, your eye lines done there in equal with your ear. So yeah, so hold that, hold that. Yeah, now I'll just get you to take a big deep breath and then duck down and step away. And that's your height and weight done. So the next part of the uh, health of the process, we're going to take your hip and waist measurements. Um, so we'll start with your waist. Um, if we're just going to find in the start between the uh, top of the uh, the, your bottom rib and the top of your iliac spine. Um, so do you mind if I touch you with No, that's no, perfect. So what I get you to do, I'll just get you to put your hands up. Uh, and it's all right, I just need to pass that. 71 around. centimetres? Yeah. yeah. Which is well above, well below, sorry, yeah. the, the healthy limit, which is 80, so that's very good. I'll just do it one more time just to make sure it's accurate. Would you mind if I touch you with your So if you mind, you just be able to look at your feet together and again, arms up. Let's do the same thing. I'll take your arms around your waist. Uh, so I'm just going to take the two measurements again just to uh, confirm that the results are yeah, correct. Uh, just need to pop your hands up again. Excellent, so that's the uh, hip and waist measurements done. 
So uh, the next part of the health appraisal is uh, we're just going to take your blood pressure. Um, so what we're going to do now, um, I'm going to wrap this around your arm, just two to three centimetres above your elbow press just there. Um, so let's get you to lift the shirt up. Uh, just make sure before we start that you're sitting, don't have your legs crossed or anything, you're sitting up nice and straight. Um, just to start with, I'm just going to put on some safety equipment. There you go. Now, have you had your blood taken before? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, so you're comfortable with uh, getting a little, little flick? Yes. It's no more than a little flick, so it uh, shouldn't be too bad. Um, do you have a preferred hand that you'd uh, like to be, the blood to be taken from? Third finger. Uh, yes. So we're going to start off taking your uh, blood cholesterol. Mm -hmm. um, just to start off with, I'm just going to swab the finger just to decontaminate it. So this will just be a little quick, I'll give you a little countdown. Yeah. Uh, three, two, one. Uh, now I'm just going to wipe away the first, first drop of blood. Through the bleeder. So your blood glucose now is 4.9, which is uh, good, under 5.5, which is the uh, recommended range. Uh, then when we go to your cholesterol, uh, you've got 2.94, which is also good, under 5 is what they recommend. So overall, it's, uh, it's all been good. Okay, Brenton, just to wrap up the uh, health appraisal, um, when we look at your different factors, such as your blood pressure, it's all good, your waist hip circumference, good again, um, BMI, very good. 
Um, you've got no family history of, um, of any diseases. Um, you, your smoking status is, is no, of course. Um, and look at your injuries, which is zero. Um, when we look at all that, I can, I can safely say that you can exercise at a, at a vigorous activity um, intensity, sorry, without uh, any supervision. So um, you're all good with that.